this is a chance to bring people together who not only have different points of view and are different places on the political spectrum, but also have different expertises and different knowledge perspectives. We wanted to be outside of Washington, D.C. because thinking in big political capitals like Washington gets very narrow. This is about trying to bring that big, far-flung network from all over the world, multiple generations uh, from uh, folks who are just sort of beginning, um, have just finished college, to uh, folks who have been some of the leading thinkers in the world for many decades. One of the big questions in this conference is how do you engage young people in political activity? A lot of young people are actually getting re-politicized as a result of all these crises that we are facing. I think that conservatism can be understood as a branch of liberalism. I mean, most conservatives say they're for individual liberty. Liberals say the same thing. Raise your hand if you want to take a shot at the objective true meaning of bad. That's what risk means. Whoever gets to own the risk discussions um, gets to own uh, uh, politics in two very, very powerful ways. A lot of folks like to think about inequality as the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. But what's really happening is the rich are getting richer, full stop. Technological innovation in the long run is the single most important thing in economics. The fundamental failure of liberalism is that they can't really offer a co coherent agenda. And what they go back to is saying, well, if we just go back to where we were in the 50s and 60s, we'll just make government bigger, we'll regulate companies more. We have to be thinking about a way to persuade the public that they are connected to the state in ways that are deeply legitimate. What would we need to run the planet in 2050 without CO2 emissions. One of the biggest challenges for environmentalism is to stop sort of looking back to, you know, pristine nature in its old form and sort of going back to the land. I would wager that every one of you out there uh, overestimates the fragility of the environment. Polarization is a two-way street. Liberal and conservative are really just surface labels for something that's underneath going on that's much more profound. Walter Lippmann once said that the goal of politics is not to get everyone to think alike, but to get people who think differently to act alike. The kind of conversation that we were having, the kind of dialogue where you're finding places where you obviously, there's disagreement, but also places where there's new kinds of agreement, that that's really, there's hope there. There was actually some, uh, I think, some, a sense of optimism that, that that could flower into a new politics. It's gonna be a rowdy century, I think it'll be fantastic century to live through because uh, so much profound stuff is going to be going on.